Hello my beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. I just had a very interesting insight <laughs> about uh, making a reading uh, that for some reason will be called features, looks, personality and special marks of your soulmate. It seems like somebody needs details and today in this reading I will specifically uh, be concentrated on details of your soulmate, of a person who you are meant to be with in this lifetime, or however you want to call them. So you may choose from those three stars, pile one, the blue star, pile two, the red star, and pile three, the purple star. So we're going to be concentrating on details, but I'm going to add some cards. And you know what? Those cards will be opened at the end. I don't know why. I'm um, just being guided right now. I will be opening them at the end of each reading. And then we'll see what happens. So uh, let's start with pile number one. Hello pile one, whoever chose the blue star. We will be opening this card at the end. But for now, uh, let's look at features of your soulmate. Hmm. First of all, a very attractive person. Okay, and because I'm gonna look mostly at uh, specific details, I wanna tell you right away that uh, your soulmate has a very good taste in fashion, in how they uh, take care of their hair, their skin, their body. They do care how people see them, not because they, uh, you know, a narcissist or anything like that, even though, I mean, it's a general reading, but more because uh, they feel that whatever they show to others, how they portray to others themselves, that's their, um, that's how others treat them. So it's not really for um, trying to show off, it's more for um, need and, uh, you know, respected uh, reasons. Men or women, um, it's not gender specific. What else? I'm gonna use different decks. Features of your soulmate. Um, I wanna say that either their hair or their eye color will be um, either too dark or or too light. For some it's very light blue eyes or very light green eyes or very dark eyes. So it's kind of um, contradicting. Either it's not going to be, for instance, for pile one, it it's not going to be just uh, like a regular brown color. And I'm not trying to, you know, say that the brown color is not nice or anything like that. I have brown eyes. It's not about that. It's more about, um, it's going to be more of unusual. Or the color, even if it's brown, it has certain unusual um, light to it. Or maybe it changes color when the light changes the color may also change. Okay? I'm 
what else their features they could have sharp features like um, more of elongated uh, face uh, maybe sharp nose and again something here is um, they could have a scar they could have a scar somewhere on their body on their skin even a tattoo like over here on the hand doesn't have to be exactly here but they have certain marks on their body it could be birthmark as well this person could be a very flexible or a maybe they into yoga or they just like to stretch maybe they into sport maybe they go to the gym and as I said they you know what I just heard they repeat certain um, movements like for example exercising they repeat in something if they go on a bicycle they repeat in uh, you know they roll their bicycle some repetition of movement their body knows or used to some repetition of movement maybe they're a dancer and I hear you know or you will know about it yes remember I told you repetition with the wheel of fortune something they're doing uh, has some repeti repetition pattern hmm maybe they're playing somewhere maybe they um like in some musical stuff like that could also be by the way okay now let's look at since we're only looking at their features special marks and i'm also going to look at initials but mostly we concentrated on that so um let me check another tab. Two cards. Remember, I told you it's like some an elongated. Maybe their beard is elongated if they're a man. They could also have uh, longer hair, or they have um, hair on their body more of a hairy body if they're a man or if they're a woman maybe a longer hair doesn't have to be but some sharp um, features could it could be either because of the face feature or because the way they wear their um, hair and, and or beard or something like that They could also wear a certain amulet or um, something at the neck. It could be religious for religious um, purposes or just some noticeable piece of something on their uh, neck. And they also can have something on their hair, like if it's a girl, some pins or flowers or something like that okay is there anything else is there anything else oh we also wanted to look at their personality just a little bit because you know this is more of because of the details i'm making this reading personality this person is very giving and sharing. They like to share, they like to help, they like to give. This is not a greedy person. And uh, they like this exchange. They also like to communicate with different people in their life. They can find um, a way to any kind of person. Like they, they know how to... Uh, say the right thing to a person or people that c may have completely different personalities but they know how to get to them and this is in a good way maybe it's because of their profession maybe they're helping others in some way 
their personality. This person is a family oriented person. They uh, like uh, to be around their family, maybe their relatives, maybe their kids, their parents, their pets. They like comfort, they like uh, to rest. Uh, with their family, they like to spend time with their friends or family, especially if they had a very difficult or, uh, in you know, stressing week at work. They like to, I hear, um, at, at the weekend, they like even to maybe do some barbecue with their family uh, or just, you know, hang out, play some games maybe as well. Personality. Uh, remember I told you, look, I have two six. This person is definitely knows how to, uh, knows um, or aware of energetic exchange. They are very balanced. They are very balanced. And if this person will fall in love, this is going to be for a long term. Because this is not that kind of person that falls in love quickly, I sense. This is not them. But if they did... This is going to be for, yeah, this is going to be for a long time. Maybe even uh, they will, if they will really fall in love with somebody, they will marry this person. Uh, this person could also be different background, ethnicity, uh, religions from you. Different family um, goals, different family traditions holidays you may have this difference but it's not gonna uh, affect your couple yes this is not going to affect your couple finally let's look at some initials i prepared for you here initials for you of your soulmate remember this is a general reading it's not gonna you know not all the initials will be here but Letter I, H, O, J, C, X, and letter M. I just heard two two um, names, Jack and Henry, for some reason. Doesn't have to be that way, but maybe some of their family, like last name, I don't know, like Jackson. XO. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's what I had for you, pile one. Let me know in comments if you recognize somebody because this is more of specific things. Or maybe you should watch another pile. Oh, actually, we didn't open the last card. Wait. <laughs> Hopefully, it didn't leave. Um... Let's look at this card, the beginning of your reading. Page of Pentacles. And remember, let's see how it matches, even the faces that we saw. And uh, what matches is Page of Pentacles. It's um, somebody who, who gives, somebody who shares, somebody who uh, ready to learn, ready to um, interact, um, communicate, cherish. So this person is definitely uh, knows how to cherish the right person. And they will cherish you. Okay, with this page of pentacles. Doesn't mean they are a page, but it could also mean that they are a bit younger than you. Or not as mature as you, but they are trying their best. They, they will be trying their best to match your energy, to um, grow with you. To expand to even here share life with you wow this is beautiful pile one 
Thank you very much, guys. And I'm going for pile number two. Hello, pile two. Whoever chose this red star, this card we're gonna open at the end. Hopefully, I'm not gonna forget. Uh, and today we're looking at your soulmate's looks, features, personality, special marks, and initials, okay? This is more about details. So you may recognize them. Queen of Wands, okay. Uh, your soulmate. Your soulmate is very, first of all, very passionate person very attractive they um, could be troubling from time to time but because we're looking at uh, the f more of the features their looks uh, i hear they are uh, either mid uh, height or tall okay because of this one um I hear tall enough, which means you, uh, you're going to look good together. Um, your soulmate also may like more of, um, I hear colorful clothes, like for example, yellow, red, uh, something that will be shown to the eye. They're not the person who will wear always like black colors or uh, just like white colors no they kind of they wear something that will stand out even if it's white or uh, like color it's going to stand out so um, they like to experiment with colors hmm. Okay. Also, your soulmate uh, is more of mature individual. They may look like they immature from like um, from the eyes of other people, but deep down they they are very mature. They may like to read books here. They may like to meditate, they may like to dream about um, some, I don't know, different dimensions, um, about the universe, but not everyone can see that in them. Mostly people see just, you know, that they like to show off even maybe, right? But it's not because they like to do that, it's more because... Um, I don't know, they just like certain color maybe, certain clothes that they wear, but in reality they are very deep person. They have very, if you start talking to this person, you will realize that after some time that they are deep and they're very smart, wise even. They have certain wisdom. If you look uh, on your soulmate, like you look at them, you're gonna say, okay, this person probably um shallow but no they are deep what else about them they could have dark skin or a bit darker skin than yours or the opposite you have darker and they're lighter some some a little bit of a difference but more of darker skin than yours also a lot of like orange colors and i want to say maybe they have um, red or I hear gray hair color red or gray could also be black but something about color red hmm. you, I will also want to say that your soulmate has very beautiful hands since we're looking at the details and their features they have very beautiful hands maybe for example if they're a girl they have very nice um, nails like or color is very bright since they like bright colors maybe 
if it's a man also very neat and um, it could be because they're very neat or uh, like they take care of themselves they maybe their skin is very smooth I hear but very nice hands or maybe you notice their hands something about their hands Any other special marks here? Mm -hmm. You know what I just um, heard? Something about their eyes. It's like they may look away and you may think that they're not interested or they're looking away but they are they're still looking they're still aware of what's going on around them. They may not look straight forward in your eyes or when they talk to somebody. They may not um, show that much attention, involvement into a conversation, but they are present. They always hear uh, what the other person is talking about. They catch information very fast, very quick. Why am I sensing this person's been through a lot or they already been through a certain karmic cycle? What are their personality? Yes, this person learned um, how to love unconditionally without expecting anything in return. And they learned it the hard way. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe they're still young, but they're so wise already. Because they already realized what a true love is or what is what is it when even just a friendship they realize what's important and what's not important who is a friend and who is their enemy they already realize that and they really cherish those who um, be nice to them and being honest with them they cherish honesty a lot because they also know what is dishonesty they already been through it. They know what it is. Any more special marks? And look how much sun and orange colors. Maybe they like oranges. Maybe you ate oranges together. <laughs> or some um, bright uh, yellow orange fruits here. They also love the sun and, and they know how nature works. Like, for example, they know how to gain their energy back. Maybe they're very close to nature. Maybe they energized from the sun. Uh, something they know about the laws of the universe. Not for all, of course, but also they might have a very beautiful uh, sun tan. Like, uh, when they go to the sun, their skin becomes very beautiful. Remember, we talked about their skin and that they have this nice darker color maybe it's because they have a very nice tan another thing i want to say that your soulmate uh they are alone or they feel lonely at the moment when you watch this reading they still are recognizing uh who they are what is their path they still in search of themselves, even though they already wise. They still are in search, in a search of understanding, why are they here, what's their journey. They didn't figure it out yet. Not not all of it. They didn't. And they like their uh, quality time alone. Sometimes they just need to reflect on things, being on, on themselves to recharge. Are there any other hints? Any other hints for part two? Or special marks? Look how many bright uh, cards over here. They may have brother or sister here. Mm -hmm. 
or they currently spending time or in general with their family members or they wishing to reunite with their family or their siblings it doesn't tell much like in the first pile for example we looked at more of their features even though I can still ask here here it's more about the person anything you need to know about their features as I said in the beginning they are very attractive um, they could their features are very harmonized uh, and um, it doesn't I understand now why it doesn't specify exactly their features because for everyone it's going to be different it's going to be based on your preferences for example if you have certain taste if you for example like uh, blonde uh, guys or girls they're gonna be that way if you like uh, brunettes they're gonna be like that if you like uh, red uh, color hair people you go that's gonna because ace of cups it's something that you're gonna admire that you're gonna like that will attract the eye so they will definitely get your attention when you meet them uh, you will definitely you may even uh, it might even be uh, a love from a first sight uh, first sight for you because you're gonna like what you're gonna see you're gonna like what you're gonna see let's look at the initials for you So I have Q, T, F, M, C, another F, T, double T as well. U and A. And finally, let's open this card over here. What else you need to know about your soulmate? Three of Cups. Um, this is not a triangle situation. It's more of a personality of your soulmate they could they are a very bright person they attract people people want to be around them they could be very talkative or they like to communicate uh, with different uh, people different from different backgrounds they like to tell stories they maybe like uh, to joke uh, around when they're around like friends or family members uh, they like to, for example, drink maybe some wine <laughs> when they're free, but um, doesn't have to be. But here people got gathered together and they enjoy their time. They could also have two best friends, just for some. Or maybe you are friends right now. Or maybe you will start... Uh, or you will start this connection as friends or it could also mean when you meet them you will be around friends maybe you will be celebrating something some event birthday uh, maybe at your work you're celebrating something anniversary whatever it is and uh, that's where you will meet this person your soulmate at a certain positive event doesn't have to be that way but for some this card represents your meeting okay so thank you very much pile two let me know in comments and i'm gonna go to pile number three
Hello Pile 3, whoever chose this purple star. Let's see. This card we're gonna open at the end, okay? Uh, let's see. The looks of your soulmate. Hints about them, special marks, their personality, anything you need to know about them in details. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh, right away what comes to me, details, right? Uh, the way they look, they don't look their age. For instance, for some it's going to be they look a bit older than their age. For others, they look younger than their age. So basically, they don't really match the age, their original uh, age. And this is not bad. Even if they look a bit older, it's not because it's bad or they, you know, something wrong with them. But this is going to be a very big hint for people who um, will be resonating with pile number three. Something about their look don't match their actual age. Mm -hmm. They could be a skinny in nature, doesn't have to be. Or even if they're not, some parts of their body, their veins may stand out. Because I see a lot of like um, features like their veins, their neck. Some veins of their may stand out. Some tattoos could also be. I also see that their eyebrows are more straight rather than uh, cornered. Uh -huh. Okay, what else about your soulmate? The moon. Okay. Another thing that could be is... You know this is very very rare but for some it's going to be a hint uh, their eyes could have a little bit of different color like i know people that have like a blue and, and green eye color or um something about their eye color could stand out we had something similar in some other pile but this is not the point. The point is that this person could even have some um, special uh, gifts or special abilities. Um, did you hear that noise suddenly? Definitely special, special abilities. Um, they may be a bitch even, I don't know, depending uh, like who is your soulmate, but some mystery behind their looks, because we're looking mainly at their looks and their personality, some mystery or something standing out that not everyone has. May they may also have some spiky hair. Or I just heard maybe their uh, they looks change when they're ang angry and when they're when they're angry and when they're happy they have different uh, looks like when they become angry their eyes become darker you know some 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 mystery behind their eyes 
and, and you're not going to see this in every person. Again, this is not going to be for all, but for some it's going to be a hint. What else about their looks, their uh, personality? This person could be outgoing. This person could like um, being around people. Um, they they might have some pets here. They also like to drive or to travel or to use a certain um, transportation. It's like they're always on the go. What about their personality? Let me see. They may also like to wear hoodies here for some. What about their personality? This person is, uh, as I said, mysterious and they don't show their true face to everyone. They're more of a closed off. Uh, they don't have to be an introvert, but um, when it comes to their personal feelings, they don't open up to everyone. They keep their, their uh, thoughts to themselves, yes. This person knows how to control their thoughts, how to control what they say. Uh, they're not uh, talking about themselves a lot. They're more asking questions about other people. Hmm. They may even change a subject if they don't want to answer a certain question. This could also be a hint for you. And again, another hoodie over here, look. They may like to wear hoodies or they maybe like to wear sporty clothes. And look at that. What else I notice? Look at this. They have this, um, uh, their eyes are, uh, you know, blinded here. What else I had this? I had this here. So maybe they wear some glasses or some something on their eyes. Or on their hair. Very intuitive person. Sometimes they can read minds even in a way where, like, uh, they may see through a person's uh, mood, like what they're up to, what they like or don't like. They they can feel people. They can feel energy strongly. Even here, you see there are two different faces or like it changes from uh, a human to an animal. And here we said they may have um, their eye color can change because of their mood or their uh, Some change here going on. They may also wear uh, a watch on their left hand or some bracelets on their hands. If this is a woman, she likes to wear a bright uh, makeup. And look what I just noticed. I never noticed it in this deck. But how the eye, uh, how the makeup is done, I swear I never noticed it until we got to the details. Here she has more lighter uh, color of the eyeshadow, and here she has this dark shadow. So it's a different side of, yeah, even the lips are, the, so basically this is one look, more like um, extraordinary, more intimidating. And this one is more calm. Something different about this person, how they change or maybe it's somehow uh, shown in their features. 
maybe one eye is a bit clo like closed you know there are certain things that people like they have one eye is normal and the other one eye is a little bit closed or one eye is bigger than the other okay is there anything else um I want to say uh, about their personality this person might have some financial issues currently or, they, or they've been through some financial um, situation that didn't they didn't know what to choose what to do how to you know break through and they struggle or struggling currently with their financial situation yes something about their job or money career over worrying is it in the past or is it happening right now um for most uh it's happening now maybe they have to move somewhere because of that or change their position change their job change their uh, location and they're right now worrying about it this is another hint for you about this person but they're ready for any changes because they are uh, very active in general anything else about their personality no matter what situation they're in this person knows how to make money they know how to get back uh, to their feet they know how to find a new job if they need to they know how to maybe do business uh, whatever they need to do they will this person will eventually be successful maybe right now they have the situation but they they uh, will get through this now let's look at some initials, maybe some information that will help. Okay, letter R. B. F. Z double Z maybe they're sleeping right now <laughs> zoo, 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 like right there is a word like X could be your X but let's not concentrate on that F and Q and finally, let's look at this card. What else you need to know about your soulmate? Any other hint, anything else, advice? The Hierophant. <laughs> uh, what's the hint? Your soulmate that we just described uh, could possibly or most likely be your future spouse, okay? This is a person for life, for marriage for a healthy long-term relationship and also could indicate that this person has certain belief religious belief a traditional belief maybe they just uh you know practicing their wisdom they're helping others in some way they could be a teacher a professor a coach uh, they could be very wise in the, whatever they do but for most of you, if it resonated with you, of course, this, this could be your future spouse. And that's the main hint. Okay? So, uh, that's what I had for you, Pile 3. Thank you very much, guys. I hope it helped. I love you all. And I'll see you in my other videos. Bye-bye.